Alrighty everyone, welcome back. It is now the end of November of 2023 and as we get closer to the new year, we know that those up the high ranks over at Disney like Bob Iger, the CEO, the board of directors, they are all anticipating 2024 to be an even worse year than this year because of how there are going to be a lack of projects that will be released throughout all of that year. The only major project that really Disney has going for itself right now is Deadpool 3 and really their saving grace for 2024. Just as Wish was their saving grace for 2023 that turned out to be a disaster, it shall be very interesting to see how that film goes for next year. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now about Rachel Zegler, we know that there's a lot of drama surrounding herself and her role over at Disney given that she was fired from multiple projects. We talked about this months ago and how there were updates to that a couple of days ago. She lost her Pirates of the Caribbean role, some animated film opportunities, etc, etc. But it gets worse than that and how it actually does involve her Snow White role for March of 2025. And yes, for those of you that do not know, the film has been delayed from March of next year until March of 2025. Now, we already know that this film is going to be dead on arrival. It doesn't matter what Disney does, even if they were to shift around a lot of scenes, which they are currently doing, and they are planning to do some reshoots on the horizon. But no matter what they do, as long as they have... Zegler at the forefront, as long as they have those specific CGI dwarfs now that are implanted into this movie, which look god-awful, by the way, this movie is not going to perform very well. Now, what's interesting about all of this has a lot to do with what Disney is currently doing against Rachel Zegler to really embrace damage control. Now, with Zegler's Snow White delayed until March of 25, one major development happening currently now behind the scenes at Disney involves Zegler's role as Snow White and how Disney is now taking serious action against her in the process after her PR disaster. Now one crucial development to this ongoing drama is that Disney has come to the conclusion that their Snow White film is going to struggle at the box office. As a result, Disney is already specifically forcing director Mark Webb to have the directors cut roughly 35% of Zegler's important scenes from Snow White to not only reduce the running time, but to also diminish some scenes that failed terribly at a recent test screening for the film for the current cut of the movie. Right now, Disney is already looking to refilm some specific scenes to water down Zegler's performance in that movie, where many of the scenes involved sequences where Zegler had controversial moments with actress Gal Gadot, where the patriarchy is mocked. The scene that is reportedly now getting cut involves the evil queen singing a song about taking over the patriarchy, specifically a character called King White's Castle, which is, of course, Snow White's father in this film. And Gal Gadot, of course, is singing about, of course, taking over the patriarchy. Now, the scene that is reportedly now getting cut involved the Evil Queen singing a song about all of that, where this is said to actually also involve Zegler's Snow White somehow, some way. And this is just one of the scenes that are getting cut from the actual film. This is said to be the very moment in which Zegler's Snow White eventually escapes from the castle and regroups with Andrew Bernap's character, Jonathan. Multiple scenes, in fact, that mention and mock the patriarchy involved Zegler in the same frames of the scene with Gal Gadot and or sequences that cut back to Zegler where the acting reflected on the controversial sequences. Now this all takes place in the second act that failed at the test screening where Zegler is now reportedly losing many scenes that took 16 hours a day to film. Now the sequences featuring Zegler will now be cut from the first, second, and third acts of this movie where Disney reportedly was on the fence of cutting out Zegler's big moments from the film since it would greatly reduce the running time as Disney's plan was to make this into a near three hour movie around two hours and 50 minutes long in length. Now guys let me just say one thing about that real quick before I move on. I think it's absolutely ludicrous the fact that Disney wants to make or wanted to make Snow White into a near three hour movie. I don't know what kids are going to sit through that, especially a movie that's going to be terrible as this, 
But we know one thing about Bob Iger is that they really want to begin to shift from shorter films to longer films. And that didn't work out for them in the long run. And that's why the cost containment plan is wreaking havoc on their plans. It's all about reducing running time now, smaller scale movies on all fronts, a smaller cast, crew, etc. And really lowering their stardom power to reduce spending on future live action and animated projects. So I think that at the end of the day, you're going to see a, di a very different Disney from 2024 and 2025 and beyond. And I would be shocked if the Disney that as we see it today in 23, I would be shocked if it's going to remain as is by 2026 when Bob Iger's contract reportedly is going to end. And we already know that the board of directors are really just making this god-awful mess an even bigger disaster than it needs to be. So, what's interesting about this, though, is the fact that they are now moving forward with diminishing a lot of Zegler's scenes based on the PR disaster that is not recovering. Disney figured that as time passed, her PR disaster would eventually just fade and be forgotten, and it's not. However, this is now going to be greatly reduced due to the ongoing drama with the test screening. Very similar to Captain America 4's situation, also going through similar issues at the same time, where the test screening failures are now leading to reshoots. Ziegler is reportedly furious over Disney's decision to pull many of her scenes from all acts of the film, to focus a bit more on the evil queen now, in certain elements of the movie. As now Disney is trying to actually convince Gal Gadot to embrace reshoots to help patch the film for all acts where the Ziegler footage will go missing to make the film less controversial. This comes as form of damage control via Bob Iger. Now again, I think that Bob Iger is becoming a little bit more aware that nearly any movie that they push is just failing, no matter what they do. We saw what happened with Wish, The Marvels, Indiana Jones 5, just to name a few. And it's not just Disney, there's a lot of studios that have failed throughout 2023. I mean, even the DC Universe, right, has really been struggling with Shazam 2, The Flash, and we can only expect Aquaman 2, The Lost Kingdom to perform even worse than The Flash. In fact, they are projecting it to be way worse than The Flash's performance. So anyway, I would love to hear, you know, what you guys have to say about everything here because we know that Rachel Zegler, right, at the end of the day, she is going to begin promoting this movie by the summer of 2024. We have a lot more to talk about that. Uh, Disney is ramping up their marketing campaign for Snow White now by June to July of 2024 to kind of heat up that actual movie's marketing and kind of get it out there before March of 2025. So overall, I would really like to hear your thoughts on everything happening over at Disney. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.